Los Angeles in the 60s and 70s was a very tiny out scene. Some were on the coast, some most were in Venice. Well, there wasn't really an art scene when I first came down here. There was just a lot of empty buildings with cheap rent. Studios were a dime a dozen. Uh, it was cheap. My studio was $75 a month. Art theory was not uh, part of the conversation. It was about having a good time. Let's go surfing. Let's go to Barney's. Venice was a very kind of tight community there. They kind of embraced me from the beginning. They, they made me part of their club, so to speak. It was kind of a frontier. An artist could sort of explore things kind of freely and on their own. Turns out it was a pretty rich scene with a lot of what turned out to be pretty talented people. Dwayne came from somewhere else uh, and sort of like appeared. He was very cute. He had blonde curls and all the ladies loved him. Very debonair and charming and very dedicated to his work. He was absolutely fearless. You know, he'd come up and say, I'm going to make a disc, eight, an eight foot high disc. Oh yeah, great Dwayne. Came from Colorado. In Colorado where I was living and painting and making sculpture, I had a love affair with the sky and the clouds and the mountains. When I moved to California, the smog became a substance. The light in Southern California is totally different and the quality of the light, it had a body to it, it, uh, it was just thrilling. Dwayne was doing stuff that had never been done before, inventing techniques that were unheard of. I think that Dwayne has influenced a great number of artists, and he's got his generosity that uh, is very engaging. <laughs>